hello? Can everyone hear me okay? Oh, we've eerie silence. <laughs> That's okay though. How y'all doing? Just let me let me know when I when I start coming through. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly pop out the old notifications for the stream. Um, you're all very welcome. I hope you can hear me okay. Hey, old folks, how's it going? Oh, good to see you all here. We'll give people a chance just to hop on in. How's it going, lads? Are you good? You can hear me fine? Cool. The host is still saying, yeah, it's tw Twitch is a bit finicky with hosts sometimes. Let me just do a quick all on host. Um, it should be in the clear now. Oh dear, and I think the audio is having a bit of trouble playing. <laughs> Yes, it is. Uh, Amber, thank you for the 15 gift subs there. That's very generous. Um, and yet, we, of course, we have to explain what's going on there. Um, let me just see if I can get that sound effect to play and if I just fix the alerts. Yeah, that's most definitely fixed. How's it going, though, folks? You're all very welcome to the stream. Um, I, know, I know it's a worrying time to be in at the moment if you're in the States. I hope you're keeping safe. Um, some very awful acts of police brutality going on, and it is fucking depressing to kind of see. Um, I, th I assume everyone has seen the news at this point. Um, I know, I know this is a rather serious start to the stream. Uh, counter to, like, the happy-go-lucky streams we normally do. Um, I was very much debating not streaming today, because I do know that, that um, on Twitter... There's a lot of people who are like, kind of going for Blackout Tuesday. And the idea is to basically just not divert attention from the mainstream news. Um, the reason I'm still streaming myself is I thought if we just do a charity stream or something, we can help that way. Um, and I know that even, you know, despite how horrible the news is, there's a lot of other horrible shit still going on in the world. And, you know... Sometimes you just need, like, a bit of respite, you know, you, you need someone about to just even listen to or talk to some background noise. Black Lives Matter, of course, yes. Um, so this is a charity stream. Um, my, uh, Plumbella has set up a campaign for Color, color of Change, and basically what I've been going to do, I'm doing, is I'm just supporting her campaign. Um, she's going to be streaming for... Basically the entire month, I believe, like, like, how she's doing it is she's just going to, like, all her proceeds for this month is just going towards this campaign, which is, you know, that's incredibly fucking generous. Um, so what I'm going to be doing for tonight is I'm going to be supporting it. Uh, any and all proceeds I get from bits, any and all proceeds I get from subs, like, basically everything from today, I'm going to donate that to the campaign. Um, if you type exclamation point BLM, you'll get a link to the donation page as well. Um, and, and you, you can just kind of, uh, I, I, please do send a donation if you can. Um, uh, Color of Change is more so focused on kind of like, like, like uh, changing the political system, especially when it comes to black lives and advocating that. Um, and they, they seem to have a lot of backing as an organization. Um, one of the big things that they want to do and one of the ambitions of their campaign is to limit the use of deadly force to situations where there's imminent threat of death or serious injury. Basically, don't just enforce fucking police brutality, you know, which I think would go a long way. Um, and then that they have kind of like kind of like a ground map that you can kind of see on their site. Uh, if you go to that donation page, you can find a link to their site. You can learn more about them. All of that information is, of course, there. Um, yeah, so, so please do give what you can. Again, don't sub to me. Don't give me bits. Um, if you can just, like, if you have the means to just support the charity campaign directly, um, there's no point to have me act as a middleman if you can just hop on that site. Um, but of course, uh, you know, if you do give to me, I will donate everything from this stream. And, you know, and I will post, like, an image of that later. Um, once the stream analytics and that come in, it's basically totaled. Um, that'll probably be sometime tomorrow afternoon, because it takes, like, a day to process. But just so folks know, like, load, thank you for the 10,000 bits for charity. Appreciate it, man. But yeah, the world is a bit fucking scary at the moment, and... It, you know, it's heartbreaking what's actually happening in the States. Um, you know, so uh, it has to be mentioned if we're streaming tonight. Uh, and, you know, I, I still want to keep streaming that, because... 
you know, could use a little joy and respite in our lives. <laughs> um, and that, I, th I think that's still important. So, I just want to preface the stream with that, basically, and please do, you know, donate to charity, support Black Lives Matters. Um, if you find that's controversial for me to be talking about that, you need to reevaluate what's important in life. If me saying racism is bad is controversial, something's wrong with you, you know? <laughs> um, so, you know, pl please do donate to charity. Uh, dear. And thank you for the hype train as well for charity. You know, again, that's all gonna just go towards it there as well. Appreciate it, lads. But yes. Um, yeah, I, I think it's very important to get that in. It's probably the most serious start to a stream we'll ever have. Um, we're gonna keep playing some stuff. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna keep doing what we do, which is entertain people, offer some respite in these trying times. Um, and you know, just, just kind of be here for folks. Um, so we're gonna be pressing on with Zelda, but thank you again to everyone. Thank you to Plumbe Plumbella, Jesse, for actually setting up the charity campaign too. Oh, it, it, it seriously appreciate it. RT, how dare you on subbing immediately? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Coming out with big controversial s s statements here. Racism, bad guys. Oh, too controversial. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. But yeah, uh, I, I think I'm... I know it's a bit of a lengthy preface to a stream, but I feel like it's fucking important, you know? Uh, and y you kinda gotta mention this stuff. <laughs> Happy Pride Month as well, yes, of course. <laughs> Happy Pride Month, like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sometimes you forget, don't you? Because there's just a lot going on. <laughs> but of course, yeah, no, Happy Pride. <laughs> ah, dear. Okay. How's it going, though, folks? You're all very welcome to the stream. Let's play some games. Uh, when we last left off with Breath of the Wild, uh, we did die once. We had a bit of a bumpy start, I'll be honest with you. Um, <laughs> like, we, we just barely got off the Great Plateau. Um, but now we have. We have a bit of basic equipment, too. We found this fucking sledgehammer, which is just... Like, like, you just throw this at a bacabla and, like, he's dead. That's pretty fucking good. Uh, we still don't have better pants. We can pop the Nintendo Switch shirt back on because it provides the same armoration as the warm Dublay. Again, thank you to everyone just giving the bits and that there. Like, Jesus Christ, guys. Um, yeah, it's kind of backlogged the fuck at the moment. But thank you, guys. No, uh, again, it's all gonna be going to, to part of that campaign. If, if you can, just, like, donate straight to the campaign over me, do that. Um, but, you know, if you've got leftover bits or something you want to give that way, just do that, and then I will pass that on, basically. Ah, dear. Yeah, there are better pants on the plateau. Well, I think we're a bit away from the plateau. Where's the better pants? Oh, shit, no, there is better pants. I know where they are. I know where they are. They're they're in like one of these side temple buildings, aren't they? It's in the Temple of Time. You'll die without the pants. <laughs> We're going to get pants. No, we 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 gotta go back. Um, it, it it's very important. Okay. Don't wear the pants, but guys, we're so frail as is. <laughs> The, the, oh, and like, to people new to like the Breath of the Wild streams too, of course, um, this is a permadeath run. Uh, the rules to go over them is, if I game over, I must start the game again. I have to delete my save file. Um, I'm not allowed to use fairies, I'm not allowed to use Mephis Grace. And a game over, and like a death is characterized by the game over screen. If I fall off a cliff or something and the screen just fades to black, um, that's fine. Because I come back and I just lose a hit point, basically. Um, so th that that is important uh, to note. Pantsless challenge, guys, please. <laughs> oh God! So like, let's get naked, Link. Going, come on, guys. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You know, technically, we'll be able to speed run the game faster because we have increased agility. Uh, and you know, when it's all just hanging loose, you know, the pants aren't holding you back anymore. 
Uh, Jesus Christ. Thank you to everyone who's getting given bits, and thank you to everyone who's joining the charity. Very much appreciate it. I think the game itself is chugging a bit there. Great Plate Plateau actually does have some load issues, if I remember rightly. Um, but we should be okay. Oh, that sword regenerated! I almost just jumped into the ocean. The sword has came back. Oh, because we didn't grab it this time, did we? Chuck that away. Yeah, because uh, uh, like we got it on the first run, but then we died. Okay, so throw. Place that there. We can get this old box too. Just while we're here. Logical, thank you for the gift subs. Thank you very much. Uh, once again, I just gotta stress for all the gift subs and that. Uh, 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 it is all just gonna be put back into the campaign. But thank you. You can just donate directly to the campaign. Um... Okay, where's those pants? They're, they're in one of these ruins, aren't they? Hmm. Is it this one? I just want pants, man. Where, where are the trousers? They're in the other one, aren't they? Yeah, I think I think I think they're in the other one. Okay, let's uh I'm not afraid of you anymore. Okay, I'm a little afraid. <laughs> Let's just eat up a skewer. Take his own club against him. And stun him down. There we go. We're growing. We're getting stronger. Not gonna let the Bacoblins beat us anymore. It's fucking terrifying still fighting them. There's the pants. Okay, I want to get a stronger shield. I want a stronger sword, too. Okay. Stun him. Lock two. And we got him down. This, this sword is thankfully quite strong. So we don't have to worry about too much. He's got the high ground. <laughs> oh, we took him down anyway. We're doing good. Ah, oh, Jesus. Thank you for all the kind words, guys, as well. Um, don't have much to give right now, but donate to the campaign too. Black Lives Matter, even though it's not just a trend. Thank you for using your platform, RT. Ellie, thank you very much. Amber, thank you for all the bits before as well. I hope work goes well, but thank you very much for stopping by. Okay, we got pants. <laughs> oh, God, we're slightly stronger now. I think these are chinos, though, so I don't know if I want to wear them. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We need the armor. <laughs> we just need the armor. <laughs> we can't be picky. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's travel back to the shrine. Peach, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, dear. Put them back. <laughs> Just back in the box. Don't want these ones. We're gonna donate to the charity. Type exclamation point BL BLM. Black Lives Matter. Uh, charity donation link will come up then. Nightbot will post it. Are you gonna play this game fully through, as in the beast and all? That's the- I gotta run. <laughs> I gotta run, I gotta- There we go. The reason I hate this is because look how much it does. Actually no, it's not- the, it's only six, is it? No, no, six is still up. Oh my fuck. I'm just getting out of here. <laughs> just, just get going. Let's <laughs> just get going. It's too dangerous right now. 
I don't I don't need to use that as a weapon. Get out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's just cross the bridge and go. It'll lose interest in us. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. The end is here. How's it going, my man? Maybe somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that, well, let's just say it's badder than most. Aww. We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? Doesn't matter who you are, really. I'm getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. By the by, these strange things have popped out of the ground. Did you see them? I'm talking about the mushroom there. I'm talking about those towers. Seem to have popped up all over the place. That's not the only strange thing that's happened. Those long deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. You know what this means, don't you? The end is nigh. Oh, Jesus. Okay, uh, we'll just leave him be as he just watches the volcano. <laughs> oh no, he's sad we're going. Okay, stay safe, man. All the best to you. Uh, we need to get through this mountain pass. I think our next goal is, if we get the Kakariko village, there is an armor set you can get that gives you increased stealth. Uh, we want that because less stuff is going to detect us and try and murder us if we have that. Uh, so getting the Kakariko is, is the next goal. I think there's a stable over there too, but I don't know if there's wild horses. Wild horses would be very nice to find because then we could, we'll have a much safer to pass uh, through the world. We're gonna keep going though. Tower's the next goal. I'm not jumping, guys, no. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, Cap, Mr. Razzle Dazzle, thank you very much for the bits. Thanks, guys. Okay, uh, so our next goal is the tower. Uh, again, just for my own chat too, um, just to stress this, I do try and say this when there's just new folks in chat. We don't really do spam or anything in my chat. Um, if you scream at me to do something, oftentimes I just won't do it, and I'd appreciate it if you just avoid spamming. Um, because normally if, if there's just a lot of spam in chat, I just pop it on slow mode, and then I just can't talk to you. Um, yeah, so, 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 we try and keep it chill here. You know, I, I know a lot of Twitch is very memey, but here we're a bit more relaxed. If you're gonna spam, if you're gonna, like, kind of type anything in the chat, just type the donation link. Just to kind of keep it, like, kind of a flow in chat. Not all at once, mind you, but, you know, that's important to kind of have a flow. Sorry, Mr. RT, it's okay, it's okay. No, cause there's, always, there's always a few folks who are just kind of new on Twitch, so... Uh, I just wanna... Fuck! <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> oh, they're sounding the trumpets. No, <laughs> no! Oh, the world is so dangerous here. <laughs> Piss off. There we go. That was actually not a bad shot. <laughs> okay. Right, I think we can stasis this one too to get some loot. We're on our way to Kakariko, but we're trying to... We're trying to get equipment that just doesn't break instantly, too. <laughs> These, our equipment's not lasting long right now. Okay, off you go. Give us, what's in the box? There's a fish chilling here, too. We'll grab him for the road. Give me the opal. Staminoka bass. I'll take it. Don't you dare. <laughs> it's just a dead fish here, too. Oh, and a river snail, I'll take it. <laughs> that octa rock just killed a fish. Well, oh, actually, no, I killed the fish, I think. I think when I launched this thing, it might have hurt a few of them. Okay, let's, uh, let's catch some fish in the river. Stock up on some tea. Rockman, thank you for a thousand bits. Should just go straight to Dead Mountain, sounds like a safe place to visit. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Rupp, thank you for a thousand, uh, 1500 bits as well. Uh, thank you as ever, lads. Let's 
get this Octorok tentacle. Oh, there's some snails here, too. Sneaky river snails. They're not that sneaky now. They're, they have another camp set up here. Can I just grab this? Throwing spear. Oh. They seem to have a lot of... I can take these guys. Hey, buddy. Oh, no. Some, some of them better not have fire again. I'm, I'm just not taking any chances here. Okay, there's one over there. That guy's a stronger one. So we, we want to be real careful here. We have an ice arrow. Uh, yeah, let's use the soldier's bow. It's just completely annihilated. <laughs> No, I'm not taking any chances, sir. I'm not taking any. If we have good equipment, we're gonna use it. Ugh. Get him down. Camp clear. Don't waste the bomb arrows. We'll find more. We'll find more as time goes on. We do need to try and gather supplies where we can. See, uh, we're, do we're doing pretty good. There's no point in having bomb arrows if you're not gonna use them. This clears us a fairly safe passage to get over that tower now. Ah, oh, dear. Okay, um, what have we got in the chest? Please be something good. Yeah, that was worth definitely worth it. That that's a super strong shield. Uh, we're, we're getting better and better kit. And before he dies at the tower. <laughs> well, the plan is we're not gonna die from this point. Um... The main thing we need is just armor, so I can say that with more confidence. Because <laughs> at the moment it's just like, we're not gonna die, guys! <laughs> And it's, it's I, I, I don't know if I believe what I'm saying. We're gonna do it. Let's avoid that camp. Um, we'll take the road round. Oh my god, is stuff just gonna pop out of the fucking world? To try and kill us wherever we go. Sneaky river snail. Just want to get to the tower. The river current is kind of fast, so I, I, I'm worried if I just swim across, I, I, I may not make it. I'll try it. There we go. Yeah, we need to take him out. We shouldn't be using this bow right now. Oh, I can use my ice spell, can't I? I, I? I forget this one even exists sometimes, honestly. Let's build a bridge. There we go. <laughs> That's the ice phone. Oh! That's okay. Let's just take his eyeball. And we, we made it past the current, which was the main bit anyway. So we're okay now. Yeah, we just gotta get up the tower. You're truly else. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. My Frozen 3 is looking wild. 
Like, Elsa has to fight to survive. <laughs> God, okay, Duel and Peaks. Make our way up. Elsa was Link all along. Eyeball sell for a lot, do they? That's that's really good if they do. Yeah, because we're, we're gonna need to buy the stealth suit as soon as we can. Uh, scared and uh, GGP, thank you for the bits. Thank you to everyone who's subbing as ever. Appreciate it. Again, if you can, please do just donate directly to the charity instead of just giving to me. Because what you give to me is just going to go to them anyway. But, like, Twitch gets a cut when you do things like subs and that, so. Goes further if you just give direct. Oh, I hit a rock. <laughs> ah, dear. There we go. There's some really strong armor you can find in this game, too. There's a way to upgrade armor, if I remember rightly. That's, that's, that, like, that's going to be absolutely invaluable the moment we get that option. Because uh, th like, we, we just need our equipment to last longer. Okay, let's register this on the map. Let a tower activate it. This will just signal to all the enemies where we're hiding so they can come and find us. Making life as easy as possible. <laughs> oh dear. Kanda, thank you for 500 bits. I've been protesting for the last few days here in the US, getting tear gas, flash banged, and chased by the police. It does make me happy to see you all here, out here supporting us. Please do stay, stay, stay safe, Can. Thank you very much. I don't know, there's another update for Google Maps. <laughs> Basically, every time you go to, like, like, one of these towers. Like, you know, you hear horror stories about Nintendo's online infrastructure, but you don't think it's this bad. <laughs> you want to play online with your friends? You have to climb the tower. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, and the Sheikah sensor updates, too. We can search for shrines now. Okay, uh, I'm probably going to turn that off, because I find that one's actually quite annoying. It beeps a lot, um, even if there's like a shrine that you can't necessarily uh, discover. And like, that, that's the noise it repeatedly makes. See? Uh, 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 the shrine that it's beeping for is on the top of that mountain. I'm not going to be able to get there forever. So I'm just going to... Bop that off real quick. Okay, oh. God, okay, wait, so. I can get this guy down. I said I can get this guy down. There we go, we trapdoor him. And now there's a chest over there. I'm just gonna make sure I have some, like, stamina meals. Okay, I have enough in case I don't make it. But I should be able to make this jump. That was a bat. I don't... Don't like that. Hey, well, lads, how's it going? Don't mind me. Oh my god, there, there's some impressive loot in some of these things. Uh, that one's badly damaged, so we'll just replace it. Yeah, like, like, look at the shield guard on that. We're getting some powerful equipment. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna help us survive, you know? It's only a good thing. We can get some ore here, too. Because, uh, like, we, we're gonna want a lot of money when we get to the town. That's literally just salt, but okay. <laughs> That's also literally just salt. We we need amber. We need opals. Oh, God. Yeah, there's, there's a shrine on top of this mountain. At the moment, I just want to get the Kakariko as fast as possible. And then we'll, we'll explore some more of these shrines. 
You know, the joy of this game is that it's completely open world and you kind of just do anything at your own pace. Oh wait, no, the shrine's right here, you meant. Oh. Okay, well, we'll pick up this one, yeah. I didn't realize, I thought it was the one on top of the mountain you were referring to. <laughs> uh, guys, we'll have to do this shrine later, it's just a bit out of the way, you know. I gotta, like, tap my iPad off it. Okay. Let's get this one unlocked. Uh, the two on top of the mountain are really easy shrines, I believe. It's literally just you have to check a combination. And the combination is posted in the opposite shrine. So, uh, we, we should be able to get that one, like, very easily. You don't even have to fight anything. I mean, it's critical. This is stasis. If I ever saw one. Drop the ball. That platform comes over. You can get a piece of climbing gear in this shrine. Oh, is it the hat? Because we do, we do need a hat. Yeah, the, the, there is a climbing gear set. Because uh, uh, that, that, that's going to be very good. Okay. There we go. Timing is crucial. This pinball machine looks interesting. <laughs> I love, like, the simplicity of the puzzles in this game. Like, like it, it's just, like, all physics-based. And it's, like, puzzles that just feel like they make sense. Um... There, there is a chest in this shrine, too, isn't it? Yeah, it's over there. There we go! <laughs> We're lucky that doesn't count as a death. <laughs> it's just terribly unfortunate. Um, let's just... Let's just eat up real quick. Have a fish. <laughs> like, the ledge just left the moment I was coming up to it. Okay, um, what we can do now is... Take this. There we go. We elevate this so that we can go up here. Climber's bandana. Oh, yeah. This is, this is where it is. Okay, that, that's three more armor by, like, having a bandana. I'll take it. We're getting more and more armor, which is, like, like such a big thing for us at the moment. Because, uh, like, this will just help us stay alive so much longer. What do I... I think I gotta glide over to it now. Yep. There. That was a fairly straightforward shrine. That's a good outcome. Rockman, thanks for 500 bits. This shrine is incompatible with your current OS. Please visit your nearest Sheikah store to upgrade. <laughs> oh, the fucking Sheikah store. It's like, hi, we sell like all kind of modern technology products. <laughs> Introducing the Sheikah Watch! Now you can read the time! <laughs> uh. The iPhone! It actually makes so much sense because their image is an eye! <laughs> yes! Oh, it's perfect! <laughs> Link OS. Oh, it's just iOS, but it's like physically spelled out I. I love it. <laughs> it's like, can one man survive in the wilderness with an iPhone? Welcome to Breath of the Wild. <laughs> oh, God. The sequel is just gonna be that, like, you know, he gets the new model. <laughs> it's the iPhone XXX. Link's moving up in the world. He saved up his rupees. 
the ice slate. Oh god. Okay, there, there's some more ore over here. Uh, this is magnetic for some reason. Oh, it's because there's a, a cobbling camp over there. Okay, I'm gonna fight these guys the best way I know how. By cheesing it to a ridiculous degree. It's me and my boulder. <laughs> it's just, we'll just keep swinging and eventually they'll all be dead. <laughs> Come on. I can't even see them. <laughs> Okay, there's one more left alive over here. <laughs> He's just running in fear. Come on! Oh, he's smart. He's staying out of range. He doesn't want to get hit by the boulder. Come on, buddy. It's gone now. It's gone now. Go in. <laughs> oh fuck, there was one left. No, I dropped the boulder. Wait, it's okay, he set himself on fire. He, he just stood in the fire and died. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I didn't even hurt that guy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He gave up. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Amber, that's what we want to see. Um. Is it possible for me to. There we go. You don't want to use a bomb on these rocks because it'll um, scatter the ore to a very big degree. I want to be careful. Soldier's broadsword. We're getting so much better equipment. Look at that. Not a broadsword. And we can get this chest over here. It's a boomerang of all things. Uh, yeah, boomerangs actually work like as regular boomerangs in Zelda, but you have to actually time the catch of it yourself. Which makes it quite tricky. You can also just use them as a sword, although, you know, it's not how it's intended. Like, I'll try, I'll try and... Here's how you're supposed to do it. See? If you mash A when it comes back, that seems to be the best way to catch it. But yeah, it's actually really good for getting a few guys at range, especially if you're low on arrows. And you can do crazy stuff with the boomerang, too. Like, if you throw the boomerang, you can set it on fire. Um, and then if it hits enemies, they will also catch on fire. JF as well, thank you just for the 5,000 bits there and the big donation. Donating this to both support Color of Change and say thank you for a year of great content. Got my one-year sub badge today and just want to say thank you for being such a great person. What you're doing today just proves my point entirely. Thank you for being such an incredible person. We don't deserve you. But JF, thank you very much for the 5,000 bits for charity. I, I, it's very kind. Very much do appreciate it. Okay. Did he die? Yeah, I've died once before. But we're never gonna die again, just you wait. There's another ore over here, so let's get this one. We're almost like Kakariko. I, I, I don't think there's a guardian in the field up ahead. Because that's like my biggest fear at the moment is I'm just going to come across something that shouldn't be here. Uh, there is another shrine over here though, which is great. I think for this one, this is how you're supposed to gain access to it as well. There we go. And yeah, when... 
Is there is there a way for the spikes to be removed after you ha hop on in? I hope I'm not stuck. We'll find out soon. <laughs> you set them on fire. You burn them. Oh god. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> Spice leave after shrine completion. Ah, okay, then, then, then we're fine. This is the water guides. I imagine we're gonna need Cryonis for this one. Yeah, they go away after the shrine is complete. Cool thing with Cryonis here, it works on waterfalls. See? Just gotta be real careful to make that first jump. Um, I think for here I'm gonna need like a two-step bridge. There we go. I fucking love this game. <laughs> it's just all the stuff it does is just so cool. Okay, well, let's see. Got a ball puzzle next. Uh, and this is for opening the shrine. How do I turn these? Is there a way for me to go? Oh no, it's just Cryonis. Okay, it's just water. Okay, so I need to anchor that. I think if I just pop that there, then it'll just fall down. Yeah, look at that, see? Oh, but it's slightly too low on this one, so... <laughs> okay, well that needs to be higher. Okay, let's try that. Oh, wait, yeah, so what I can do is... I can just make another one here. And now it'll roll across that too. And that gives it the elevation it needs. There we go. Not a puzzle down. Five head. Epic gamer. My god, he's so smart. How does he do it? Secret is my Nintendo Switch shirt. <laughs> Big brain. I'm just, yo, it's tough being so intelligent. <laughs> uh, Mfan, thank you for the 100 bits. Mr. Disco, thanks for the 100 bits. Thank you as ever to everyone who's seven. Mind blowing skill. <laughs> just too talented. Okay, so this is the third spirit orb we've gotten, which is really good, because I know for a fact there's a shrine in Kakariko Village. Um, so we're gonna be able to get an extra point of, ha of health when we hop over. How does he do it? Gamers hate him. Learn this one sick tip for beating Breath of the Wild. Painfully. <laughs> the next Einstein. Ah, God. Okay, yeah, and the, the spikes are gone, so we're not trapped. We're good. <laughs> Something behind the waterfall. Everything I know tells me. Oh no, I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Yeah, there is, there is not because I can just do that. Some waterfalls though, there is stuff behind them. There's horses here too, we can get a horse. Horse is an actual way to die too, we gotta be careful. Yeah. Okay, Beetle, we need to talk to you. Let's just stick with Beetle. Okay, despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. Beetle, you're a godsend. Okay, and he buys gemstones from you too. Kilrovok, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you very much. Okay, uh... So, materials... I can sell him the rupee. Or the ruby. That'll give me 210. I'm just gonna sell all my gems to uh, uh, Natalie's here. Wow! 
There are 240. Sell all of these, too. He likes to say wow and yaya yeah, yeah a lot, too, just as an FYI. I don't think anything else is really worth selling. Because uh, they're not worth too much, and th uh, I, these are like crafting materials that you can use for other stuff. Uh, we can see what he's got, just in case he's got anything of note. Uh, buying a pack of arrows honestly wouldn't be a bad idea. Wow! Whoa! He's like so impressed by anything you do. Hey! Hey! Sa 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 sa! Uh. He's also very upset if you leave him. I don't fucking believe it, Link. I think there's one up on the nose, isn't there? I think there's one on top of the, the, the this thing. Oh, respect the chickens, by the way. This is, like, a very important rule in this game. If you want to die on this run, that like, they will one-shot kill you. Respect the chickens. Kick it. Nope. Nope. That's... That's just... You're just asking for trouble. It's a bad... It's a bad idea. Honestly. Respect the Cluckles family. Or oh, they'll cluck you up. <laughs> I don't know if I can make it on top of this from here. Oh. Okay, I, I can definitely do it from here, so that's good. I think on every stable they have like something hidden up the top. See, there's, a, there's like a little flag, and this indicates that there's a Korok here. Oh. There we go. Please don't fall and die, I swear to God. Don't worry, we're in, we're in professional hands. I'm not gonna die by very stupid means here. Doing my best. I say that now. And I realized how much I could be jinxing myself. Um, okay, let's do some cooking while we're here, too. Because I got a lot of stamina bass. So we, we can make some stuff with this. Make something fishy. Professional dum-dum. Oh, okay, that was, that was way too much stamina. That That's a waste of resources. <laughs> We just need, like, one and an apple. Yeah, that- that's fine. That- that- that's fine. One and an apple's real good. It's apple- it's apple fish. Uh, are we on sub mode at the moment as well? Uh, what happened in chat? I- I didn't even realize. the mods wants to chip in. Yeah, it seems like it's a sub mod. I don't remember warranting that. Um, could we open it back up, lads, if that's okay? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Yeah, open it back up again. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's try and keep the chat open. Yeah, ma main thing I just asked for the chat today is just just don't spam because uh, we don't we don't we don't do that here. We like to keep it chill. Uh, I know there's folks that are always new to Twitch that you know they might need reminding of that. Okay, let's uh, let's cook two apples together and see what that makes. Get simmered fruit. I mean, it's basically the same healing effect as the individual apples, but I'll take it. Slightly more prepared apples. <laughs> There's no, th oh no, wait, no, apple only does half a heart, okay. I was about to say, it's just like, yeah, I've just sliced an apple. Okay, that should be plenty of food for now. We got a, we got a fair bit there. 
The only other thing I can say is, uh, do we have anything that we can cook for resistances? Octorock balloons. White jelly. I can cook this with a monster part for a hasty elixir. That seems good. Rock salt and an apple. <laughs> what does rock salt and an apple do? That seems like... That's flint. I, I don't want to pop that on. Where's my salt? There it is. <laughs> Let's just make a salty apple. Oh, that, apparently the salty apple is really good. It's just... Just sodium. Oh, and something else is very important to note. You can make friends with the dogs. Um, can I give him... I, like, what, what would he eat? I don't have any meat on me. Do you, do you want a fish? Do you eat that? <laughs> I don't know. Did I like apples? Oh, he likes the apple! Oh, He's a very good boy. I think there's some benefit to helping the dog, too. Sometimes they can show you where, like, a bit of buried treasure is. Only sometimes. He does follow you around when you're at the stables now, though, see? Very cute. Yeah, there's, no, there's extra woodcutter's axe, too, at the stables if you ever need them. Uh, we're actually okay, I think, for wood. Yeah, six bundles is enough. If you give him enough apples, he does it. Okay. <laughs> Eat up, mister. Have all the apples you want. He, he seems confused by this last apple. Here you go, pal. Oh, look at him go. He's so good. He's so good. I unlocked the camera mode. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> You're too good for this world. Oh. Okay, we gotta leave the stable. Goodbye, Mr. Doggo. Live your best life. I'll return someday. Killer Rock, thanks for a thousand bits. Cook one wheat, one sugar, and two different fruits. Make Zelda's favorite fruitcake. Nice. Yeah, there, there's some horses here. Horses do hurt you if you don't tame them. Look. Fuck's sake. Can <laughs> we go like one field at the the dead rising up? <laughs> Just equip the boomerang. Here we go. Okay, there, there, there is a horse there, but we have to sneak up on him. I'm wary because this is a big open field, and I don't know if there's like an enemy or something just lurking here. This this will take a while, but we're going to try tame this horse. You got to you got to approach him slowly. Suit him! Suit him! He didn't like that. Okay. There better not be a guardian or something in this field. I don't- I don't, I don't see- There goes the sun. We're okay. 
I don't see any. But I'm very worried about roaming this field. Horsey, come back! Horsey, please! Horse. Okay, let's see if we can get him. Pono. Oh, no. Please, sir, just stop walking away from me. We got a horse! go oh wow and has tree springs as well that's actually pretty good sometimes they only come with two doing okay you have to you have to you have to train the horse a bit at first okay I need to register the horse if I can God, okay, we got him. I haven't seen your face before. You know about the stable system? Uh, yes, I do, because I've played this before. Hey. So, basically, you can register a horse. Mm -hmm. And when you register a horse, um, like you can summon it at any point in time. This one's got good speed and stamina, which is something. It's got very little strength. Wild temperament, which means that... Tree spurs is shit, there's better horses. Five is the max. I mean, I'll I'll take it for now. It's something. Okay. What what are we gonna call our horsey? What's a good name? Cupcake. We can't name it Cupcake. Chungus would be very upset. I don't want to name it Kevin because that implies I'm riding Kevin, and that's bad. Not Ohio. No, please not Ohio again. <laughs> oh, dear. Someone said Mint, and that seems like a cute name. Mint. Ah. Here we go for that. There we go. Registration is complete. Would you like to take your new horse with you? Take the horse. Oh. Wait, no, someone said Ario. Mm. Yeah, no, it's Ario. <laughs> it's Ario. <laughs> Ario is an amazing name. Hi. Okay, uh... Can you rename it? You can't change it. Oh no, you can't. Well, it's now Mintario. <laughs> this is Mintario, our horse. <laughs> okay, Mintario it is. First name Mint, second name Ario. <laughs> Ah, oh dear. T1, thanks for 200 bits. Whoa. Horse is the final boss. Hey. Yeah, and he gives you some advice for riding your horse, too. <laughs> this is our new friend! <laughs> Mintario is our thing. Yeah, they are. Okay. We can continue the journey to the Kakariko Village now. Probably- it should be a lot safer now that we've got a horse. The uh, main problem is our horse does not like being ridden at the moment. 
And they are going to work against us a little, but that's okay. He's a good boy. Oh! Black puzzle. Wait, no, it's not a black puzzle. No, it's just a wall. Sorry, I thought that was like a core rock thing. Oh, my bad. A rock! Uh, which way is it, the Kakariko? Yeah, it's this way. Okay. And then Hitano is the next one. Okay, let's get going. It's okay. There we go. Yeah, we got him just deject it. Oh, you fucking kidding me. There's a chest over there. Did the chest start going down river? I don't see it. Okay, well, we'll get him in a moment. I do see something here we can do. Which is throw a rock. Oh, how's it going, passing traveler? There we go. Just throw a bomb at him. Yeah, I, I I can do that. We should probably talk to this random guy who's just wandering the wilderness. Oh, what 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 have you got for sale? Bright-eyed crab, just mush. Oh, these are all really expensive. Ah. <laughs> Goodbye, random stranger. Okay. We got him. The problem is, I don't know where the chest went that he was guarding. The, the, that appears to have just fallen. Uh, I can go down and have a look. I, I, yeah, I, I should be able to get back over. No, I think the chest fell downstream. Chest wasn't metal, was it not? Oh no. Well, there is there is still one chest here, so we can get we can get this one. It's at least something. <laughs> okay, and then we need to get back to the the surface. There we go. That's good cash money. Yeah, I mean, every opal is like 60 rupees. So, uh, I think we need like close to a thousand to get the stealth armor set. If I'm remembering it right. Go. Hop up here. Oh, hold out some apples in front of your horse to increase your bond a lot. Do I have any more apples? I can give him... Um, an acorn. Do you want the acorn, sir? No, oh, he doesn't seem interested. <laughs> That's okay, Mintario. Oh, was that a luminous stone? And not opal? Was it? Oh. That's pretty good. Anyway, there's a few plants to grab here. And there's a lizard. Grab these Hyrule herbs. I think you can do with some kind of dish. I'm looking for a hearty radish because hearty radish lets you increase your maximum HP temporarily. Get one of those. Just batter that out of the ground, sure. We'll 
kill a goat, sure. <laughs> Just kind of in the mood. <laughs> oh, God. I'll take that meat. Okay. Let's, uh, we'll, we will make our way on them. Inverted, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you very much. Why does the game sound sl slightly high-pitched? Does the game sound fine? It sounds fine to me. Yeah, it's fine. It's all in time as well, there's no delay or anything, is there? That's a Twitch thing, is it? Okay, no, de no delay. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. Oh, seems to be fine then. Okay, hey, it's, it's okay, Mintario. It's okay. Let's get some birds. <laughs> hey, we got dinner. That's a pretty effective way of getting it. <laughs> We've been so slow, this guy is like catching up to us. As we're just trying to walk up. Okay, so import very important stop here. Um, I believe this is Hestu. This is the guy who gives you increased inventory slots. Uh, you just gotta help him get his maracas back real quick. Oh, God, you gotta help him get his maracas back real quick. Those guys look strong. Okay, alright, we gotta get him. It's, it, it's important. We might want the bomb arrows here. Don't do it yet. No, we got we got to do it. We got to be a man. I can I can toss a quick bomb arrow and just make sure. Here, we can, we can climb up the rock a bit. Scope him out. Oh, good god. <laughs> no, yeah, they're they're, they're high-level enemies. I wonder if I can get one of them with the bomb. Okay. Okay, that's one. That is one. Oh my god, he's still alive. He fell- okay, he fell down the cliff. Is there anything I can magnet? Don't have any bomb arrows left. I'm trying to hit him in the face. Whoa! Yeah, they, they, they definitely know I'm up here. <laughs> They're throwing rocks at me. I can get him off the cliff. I just gotta keep throwing shit. Okay, I think I got those ones. <laughs> Okay, there's just one left now. How did he survive this? <laughs> oh, God. Like, that's a hell of a drop. <laughs> we destroyed the trees. <laughs> Come on. 
He's just being knocked about. <laughs> Come on. Oh god! <laughs> okay, alright. Okay, wait, maybe, maybe we can get creative with this. Miss that one. No, I want to stasis it and then like fling the tree. The Lorax isn't happy. <laughs> Not regenerating health, which is interesting. Here, stand over there. Oh my god. This is like the slowest fight I think we're ever gonna have. Just from like the top of this mountain. There's, there's wind now, too. Oh god, there's some chests over there. No. Okay, alright. It's not gone well. Oh no, that cost us a lot of supplies. I can't die. I have to snipe him. <laughs> He's fucking hiding. What if I get up that cliff? Okay, hang on. Let me just see if there's anything in here that might help. No, just, just, just apples. Literally just apples. Emo, thank you for 200 bits. Thank you very much. Uh, just bear in mind that, because uh, he said here's some money for you and Kevin. Um, all donations on this stream are going towards Black Lives Matter's uh, color of change. There is a link in the chat that is floating about where you can donate directly to charity. Just so you are a hundred percent aware. I can get him. I know what I have to do. This will take some time. But we can set it up. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Aggressive sneeze. Thanks for the blessing slots. <laughs> this guy in his, like, just his fucking maracas. <laughs> All things we've gotta help with. Kind of below the cliff. I want to see if with this guy can I just like steal the chest out from under him. Oh. Don't- you better not have bomb arrows or something. No, you don't. Okay, down, the, down they go. The, the, the chest is down there somewhere too. I can see it. 
I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go down and get that soon. Why, why, why isn't it letting me jump? He slid, he slid. Oh my god. He doesn't know I'm here. But it's getting kind of dicey now. Oh. He doesn't know I'm here. He doesn't know. <laughs> Go investigate that. Investigate that. We got him. We got him. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> we can finally get the maracas. Oh god, that was intense. <laughs> yeah, I do not want to go near him. This chest down there, though. Oh, that's. Mm. Okay, there does seem to be a way back, at least. I gotta be careful not to aggro him. <laughs> Gonna take him out real quick. Good job. I'm gonna need Cryonis. I, I can Cryonis back up if needs be, too. Yeah, uh, uh, that is true. There we go. Oh. Getting these boxes. <laughs> that was not worth it. <laughs> I hope something better than the other one. <laughs> We're so close. There we go. Go on fishing. This box contains a phrenic bow, which does 13 extra damage. Okay, that one, that one is worth it. That's really good. Getting better equipment. <laughs> Gotta be careful not to be crushed by the waterfall. Okay, there's a raft over here so that we can get back and around. Or maybe we can just climb the cliff. Do you think we'd be able to make it? There, there is a foothold there. Maybe. No, don't climb it. Don't climb it. Okay, alright, we'll go around. We'll take the scenic route. The scenic route's actually kind of cool here. Because this is what you get to do with the leaf. Come on. Yeah, we're on the water. Drown yourself. I don't want to drown myself. That shooting star? 
Ah. Oh, I kind of want to investigate that. Okay, let's... It's marked on the map. Uh, we can probably make our way over to it. Picking up speed on the raft. It'll disappear by 5 a.m. We should have time. Sail this over here. See you later, raft. Have a good life. Oh, we must have ran over an Octorok at some point. Okay, alright, there is... Bats. Take these out. Okay, and we should... ...be able to call our horse. Oh. I, I, they're coming. Mintario's on their way. And he's just getting used to it. The maracas as well. Yeah, we gotta get the maracas real quick, don't we? Okay, let's, let's go back and pick up the maracas. So that the mobs don't respawn. And then we'll go get the star, okay? So, real quick. Come on, Mint Ario. <laughs> Dude, it's okay. Come on. You're doing great, pal. They won't respawn? Well, uh, th uh, they will if a blood moon comes up, and I don't know when the blood moons are. I, I just want, don't want to take any chances, because like uh, that was an ordeal to kill those goblins. <laughs> Hop off there real quick, and let's get this treasure chest. Star has a time limit. Yeah, I'm aware, guys. I'm aware. We're gonna try and get it, but I gotta get the maracas. One job at a time. Let's do maracas. Okay, the star was on the mountain over there. Let's get going. How's it going, man? Field surf down the mountain. I'm good. You need to get a better horse. I like my horse. <laughs> There's no need to backseat game it, you know? <laughs> Jeez, you haven't optimized the speed run. If this was AGDQ, they'd be finished by now, RT. <laughs> I'm doing my best, guys. I didn't give the man his maracas there just because, um... Whatchamacallit, because I don't want to... I don't want to... Chance the star disappearing. I think it may have disappeared. But to be honest, if it disappeared that fast, we probably weren't going to make it anyway. Yeah, I, I don't think we were going to make it anyway for the star. That's okay. Go to Kakariko. Sapphire, thanks for a thousand bits. Say hi to the dog again. <laughs> oh wait! Is that a chest up there? Oh. Pop a mo here. Yeah, maybe I should have popped a marker on or something. That might have been handy. Oh well. Uh, you, you, you learn. When Sorcery 4? We already did store Sorcery 4, man. Oh, oh, go, go, go!
You haven't completely finished the game yet, so I'll call you a bad gamer. Well, I did just almost run over a man there. We'll go back and give the maracas. We'll go to Kakari. Oh, Crawfish, thank you for the kind words as well. I'm more than happy to be ha help, uh, help what color of change. And thank you for, to Plumbella for setting it up. And we're just gonna support her because she's gonna be going all month with her campaign. Which I think is truly quite noble. <laughs> Shalaka. Okay, we got him. So this is the guy who wants your Korok seeds. And when you give him Korok seeds, he will give you inventory slots. And you get to choose what kind of inventory slot you want each time. So weapons, bows, or shields. At the start, you kind of want a few extra weapon ones. And he does a little dance. Okay, so I can expand the weapon stash. So it get it rises exponentially, I believe, for expanding it more. So like it'll be two. Then if I want another weapon slot, it's three, and so on and so forth. I think he moves after a few uses here. He has a, he has a home where he lives. But he doesn't stay long. Yeah, look at the time. He's got to go. Going back to Grandpa. I still need Korok seeds, so bring some to Korok Forest if you find any. See? So, yeah, we got two inventory slots out of that, which is pretty good. And a goat steak. Sorry, that's not what exponential means. I'm uh, not like, in incremental. You know what I meant. Alina, thanks for 200 bits. I love Maraca Broccoli Man so much. Oh dear. Okay, let's keep on going. Got anything here we can interact with? I could have sworn there was like a few puzzle bits here or something. No, I didn't see any Korok seeds. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> nice thing is in this game, when you're in a town, you're safe. There's not much to worry about here. How's it going, Nana? Where'd you get that object hanging from your waist? Well, you see, I went to the eye store. You can slay as a symbol, it means you're the hero of legend. Well, there are few who know of such legends anymore. We should have been waiting for you for a very long time. We have a new model we want you to try out. Yeah, I'll go see Impa. See you later. No offense, the tablet thing looks like a Hearthstone card back. It does, doesn't it? Okay, so it's chugging a bit in here. I think it's because of the wind. Oh, that's okay. Game sometimes has like performance hits, which is unfortunate. It's just kind of the nature of it, because like all of this is rendered. See, there's no loading screens. Okay, this is what we need. So, oh no, it's 600 rupees, 700 and 500 just for the mask. Whereas these ones, these ones are much more affordable. We, we, we may have to go budget for the time being. Or I can just get like a, a, one bit of armor, not even. 
Yeah, it's pretty expensive. Uh, these ones aren't too much better even until like I upgrade them. For the time being, I'm just gonna get a Hylian Tunic. Because this is stronger than what we have. Uh, Hellkeep is alive. We, we, we don't need this hood because it doesn't have any benefit. Uh, the bandana has as much armor. Um, I can get the stealth mask. Wait, can I? Oh yeah, I can. I have enough. Okay. It's at least something. It'll keep us slightly stealthed. Um, what can I sell you? It's sort, sort the inventory too. I've been meaning to do that for a while. Uh, two opals. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford an additional item because I don't have enough. But, I mean, we, we will find more stuff where uh, we can sell later. It's not too it's not too difficult to get money in this game. Uh, if you climb a mountain, you tend to find a lot. Okay, that's pretty good, though. Yeah, we got some armor improvements there. So, we're, we're better protected now. Okay, and also, this town features a little level up shrine, too. See, so you can pray here. Um, which is really good. Pants, thank you for the 300 bits. Thank you very much. Yeah, let's talk to our paint painter pal here. I just love art. In fact, I'm traveling the world in search of beautiful landscapes. Yeah, and he tells you about the great fairy fountain. I think what you're supposed to do is, once you unlock the camera feature, you can show him a picture of it. We don't have it currently, it's the only thing. But we will get it before long. Oh, I think here the puzzle is... I don't have an apple. Wait, I do have an apple? So, five of these in a line, there's one missing. Just like that. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, and we get another Korok seed. And we can take all these apples, too. Yeah, let's talk to Kato. So, we gotta go see Impa. We're getting some story progress here. Of course, we've heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. Oh, how's it going? Oh god. <laughs> Absolutely terrified. Oh, she can't remember her name. That's okay. She can't remember her own name too, so you know, we'll cut her some slack. That was a go and pay ya. Okay. Grandmother's awaiting us. Let's hop on inside. So you're finally awake. They caught you too, huh? Just a couple of Nords it trying to cross the border. Quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Todd Howard, you've done it again. <laughs> You look at me as though the, I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. His eye courage is one Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. I don't remember anything. <laughs> Lost our memory. <laughs> 16 times the detail. <laughs> 100 years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. Then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. She entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I'm waiting a hundred years to deliver the princess's message. Oh, oh you could have just texted me, Impa. Um, I've got this new iPhone on me. 
These words which the princess risked her life to leave you. Well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you're still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you're ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. Yeah. Words that the princess risked her life to impart to you, I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Be prepared to risk your life for the greater good. I've only got one. <laughs> But I'll do my best. Once a hero, always a hero. Oh. Okay, very well. Since you've lost your memory, I'll recount for you all that has happened. Let's get some lore. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal <sighs> evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again. By Real words? I know, they've the voice acted. Of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. We're the warrior. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. Yo, we've made so many games in this franchise. Like, like there's like 20 of them. Sometimes we don't want you to remember, like Wanda Gamelon. Oh, not our finest uh, incarnation. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to uh, the denizens of the realm. The people thought. Jay, thank you for the 300 bits. Thank you very much. Uh, as ever, thank you to everyone who's been tonight tonight. To Very much appreciate it, and it's all gonna go to charity. Should Calamity Ganon ever return? There's actually 19 games, RT. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. <sighs> they also built a legion They're steel -type of Pokemon. weapons called Guardians. They made giant debt robots. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Uh, the giant debt robots were good in theory. Um, but it turns out they got turned against them. <laughs> it's like the Terminator, you know? Good in concept, but then they all kind of go a bit rogue. <laughs> John Connor has a real bad day. The and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. There will be 20 games of Breath of the Wild 2. <laughs> the Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the divine beasts unleashed a It's all good until the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> yeah, just like the elephant was just uh, like sick of being mistreated compared to the other ones here. It's like, screw you guys, I'm declaring war. <laughs> like, all balance was lost. That seals the darkness delivered his final blow. The princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. But that didn't happen, though, because we fucked up and something went wrong. <laughs> ah, dear. Only the Avatar Master of all four Terminators. <laughs> oh no. The lead likes the 200 bits. Can't wait to fight Eternatus. Okay, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. Oh Jesus guys, things don't look too good. What are more cavemen doing? They seem to have the right idea. <laughs> but in the end... Despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Oh. Free the four divine beasts. That's what she said. Okay, yeah. got it. She didn't say hi or anything, you know, just ask how you're doing. Just wanted to keep it very short and simple. Jesus Slay is not yet complete. 
Then what, the research lab in Hatno Village might be able to help you. Understood. That's the next town we're going to. You got the Kakariko, you're doing great. Thanks, Ice Cream. Princess Zelda's only hope, and Hyrule's as well. Just don't die even once. Because then the kingdom will perish. Okay, bye. Oh! <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, uh, there is a shrine up there. That we need to go to next. There are some jobs around town, I think, too, at quests. Uh, I'm not really too fussed by those, because I, I don't think the quests give us anything of too much importance. It's probably just faster for us to... Well, uh, I, I just go explore and gather resources. And, like, just sell stuff for money. Hey, Cuckoos, how's it going? I think one of the quests is to bring all them back. I want to do this shrine up here if I can. Mommy's hiding, but I'll find her. Okay, whatever you say, little child. Okay, let's go in here. And we're gonna get an extra point of HP. Frankie, thanks for 100 bits. I unfortunately don't have actual money because college, but hopefully you can pass my bits along. Thank you for what you do and love you. Thank you very much, Frankie. Very much appreciated. Okay, what challenge is this? This is a fight. Oh. When the fight starts, can I leave? You know what? We have to be brave. We have to be brave. <laughs> Just not very brave. <laughs> Fuck. All right. I'm just gonna go over here and pick up what's in the chest first. Oh god, it gave me an even stronger sword. Okay, and another shield. Uh... Drop the pot lid. <laughs> we might need some more shield space soon. Save it in a permadeath game. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much, but it's the thought that counts. And I have some nice fire arrows. He's got a sword. Use a side up to avoid enemy attacks. It's okay, an opening that can you can use to strike back. So this is a tutorial, but it's still gonna attack us. And it's just giving us the teaching basically. We seem to very much be in the clear. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. I should be using a different sword right now for this tutorial bit. Yeah, because th this isn't as challenging as some of them are going to be. There we go. Okay. You can repel an attack if you power your shield at the right time. Strike back in the open and you create. This is the one I'm scared of. Uh, <laughs> if we misjudge this, <laughs> this, c I just want to see. We're good. Okay. Will your power then release to unleash a charge attack? I don't like parrying at all. Like, we will very rarely parry. 
Oh wait, he doesn't do much at all, because we have armor now. Oh We're fine lads. I was I was really scared he'd have like a plus like XX weapon version or something. Yeah, that was that wasn't bad at all. There we go. Easy shine. Well no that still did 20 damage though. That that should have hurt us more. Maybe it's just because we have so much more armor now. Or maybe it's just programmed that like, I, I, he can't hurt you much. Is it programmed that he can't hurt you much? Is it just a tutorial? Because I was worried that he was still just gonna fucking murder us. We get this cool energy sword now too. Yeah, he can't hurt you. <laughs> okay. I was so scared. Ah, God. Elite attacks for 100 bits. Quite literally too good at games. And that our opal is good too. We can save up for more stealth armor. Okay, but there will be shrines later where you fight actual guardians like that. And that's what I was kind of scared of. So hopefully we'll be okay come the next one. RT breaks so easily. I'm just an anxious man. <laughs> I just get- I'm just a bit nervous when it comes to fighting them. They also have much better shit. Yeah, they do. But, I mean, the sword we got is quite strong there, you know? Like, I'm, I'm thankful to have that. Not nervous enough. RT gets scared when he reads the word BOO. Jeez, don't do that to me. <laughs> okay, uh, there's a fairy fountain over here. And we should, we should go to this next. Because the fairy fountains let you upgrade your gear. What are, what are those things, by the way? I see them sometimes, but I don't know what to do. I always try to hit them, but they run off. The blue. Oh, yeah, so the big thing, we're not allowed to have fairies. Yeah, so it's a fairy fountain. You'll see them here. Uh, we're not we're not going to collect any, though. Like, unless it's something specifically for crafting and that we use it immediately. We're, ju we're just not allowing ourselves them. Oh, there's some silent princesses, too. That's actually a really rare flower. You can cook them. What do you cook? What? Wait, you can cook a fairy. What do you mean you can cook them? Oh god. Okay, I. You can make hell potions from them, can you? Do the hell potions auto activate when you die? We can have a look. If it's just a regular potion, that's presumably fine. No, they don't. Okay. Then yeah, then we we, we can cook them. As long as we're not using the fairies, it should be okay. Oh, and here's this fairy struggling a bit. So all I need is a small loan of a hundred rupees. And my power can return to me. Thank you for the money. I'm gonna feck off now. <laughs> I'm very scared right now. Absolutely terrified. <laughs> How's it going? What a feeling, that first breath of fresh air after an eternity of decay. It's just so intoxicating. Okay, how's it going, Katara? I'm going to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I'll need the necessary materials. Okay. So she can improve your gear. It just requires parts. So we need blue nightshades to increase stealth. The cobbling horns here. And it's, 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 it just varies by armor set, basically. Uh, what we want to do for the moment is we want to improve everything we can. To give us as much armor as possible. Uh, this is, this is going to help us survive more. 
Empty. So that doubles the armor there. Outside of clothes that have all been enchanced twice could have a bonus. Yeah, you get an armor bonus too if you wear a complete set. So if you wear like all the stealth clothes, um, and you get them to level 2, you get extra stealth basically. Mm. I think the Hylian one is the only one that doesn't do anything because that's just like the ordinary clothes. <sighs> There we go, Harley and Tunic. Enchants the trousers. There are, f there are a few that don't do anything, okay. That bonus with stealth gear is actually being able to walk faster at night. It's like getting a Time Street haste buffed. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I actually remember that now. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enhance this too. Just in case we want, because the bandana does offer more armor. So we probably want to swap around our hat. There we go. Okay, and she's just going to disappear forever. <laughs> See you later, lady. Okay, so yeah, so look at that. We, we now have a, like, 14 armor. Which is really good. I think there's a shrine in this forest, too. I remember rightly. Or, no, there's just a path. I thought there was a shrine. Oh, no, the shrine The shrine is related to a quest much later. Now I remember. Okay. I have four spirit orbs as well, so I'm going to head on back. We're going to upgrade our HP. And then we're pretty well stocked. RT paid a woman for odd favors. Oh no. Oh dear. Am, thanks for 145 bits. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go back down to the ground. Gotta be very careful. Give me a heart container. We're a little bit stronger. Getting less frail. Yeah. Destroy the veggie patches. I, I think, yeah, you, you can get like pumpkins in this town. Which is actually kind of good. We probably want to take some of them, because pumpkins can give you, like, armor up effects. Yeah, here we go. Is this man's lovely pumpkin farm? Wait, do you have to buy him? Part of Yiga Clan, are you? Oh, I hope I don't have to buy him. I was just going to nick him. Yeah, Yiga Clan are active. Don't worry, we're not part of him. He's going to give us a pumpkin for free. Yeah, so he, he's charging for like 20 per pumpkin. Oh, he's on to us. Maybe we can go during the night and just steal some. Because <laughs> that's the more practical thing to do. Um, I think there's a carrot farm too. Oh. No, is he gonna sell them too? You need something. I haven't seen you around here before, but it's something so familiar about that face of yours. Oh, oh I remember. Long ago when the calamity hit, but you looked just like the swordsman who was trying to stop it. This guy like a hundred years old. They're all very old now. Yeah, it's me, I'm the same guy. Some people these days sure do like their jokes. If you're really that noble swordsman, you should have the legendary blade, the sword that seals the darkness. Made with swift carrots instead of a blade. He's threatened his body with a diet made entirely of swift carrots. This is, this is carrot propaganda. Okay, he, he's not, I, I can't just steal him. 
Right, right on into a hard-headed old codger. Rabla about Kakariko being known for pumpkins. This is a rivalry between like pumpkin gang and carrot gang. <laughs> Which team do we want to be on? Team carrots or, or team pumpkins? Choose a side. There's no in between. Old Codger, the old man fiddling about in the field beyond the stream. That's who I'm talking about. Two of us have been at odds for ages. A jokester goes on about being able to about about the best offense being a good defense. Doesn't even make any sense. Even when we go out hunting, he takes forever to quietly creep up on our prey. Till even the sun gets bored and sets before he catches anything. I always tell him that the best defense is a good offense. The poor fool won't listen to reason. Oh, it's getting late in the day. Gonna wrap up soon, and then his carrots will be mine. Neither. <laughs> carrot crew. Are you part of, part of the carrot crew or the pumpkin patch? Pumpkin party. Carrot crew or pumpkin party? Factions are being formed. <laughs> Dear. Pumpkin pa party will fuck you up. Oh no. I think there's a shrine up here too as well. Let me just see on the map. There's a shrine at the top of one of these things? Is it there? Let's see if I can make it up. Don't know if I'll... Hmm. No, I can't really do that. Yeah, we can get the Korok seed at least. We tread water, fine. It's just moving that causes us trouble. How do I get out of here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no! <laughs> no! We're okay. That's how we get out. All according to plan. <laughs> Eat some apples real quick. Is there a shrine at the top of the waterfall, or am I imagining that? It's a chest, is it? There's no shrine. Yeah, well, we'll get the chest. This might take a while. On our ice pad! See, the joke here is, it looks like an iPad, and I'm using it for something else. And so, like, the two people are still watching the stream. Not fed up with my antics. It's great to have you here. I want to die. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you, you, there is an armor thing, I think, that lets you climb up waterfalls, too. I just don't have it right now. <laughs> Uh, you know, we, we gotta we gotta go the long way around. Getting there. I don't get why the ice is climbable though. That, I, that, that's the thing I just don't understand. It was like I, ice is slippy. Yeah, let's go up here. It's magic ice. Ruining my immersion. Daisy, thank you for the 500 bits. Doge, thanks for 400 bits. Pumpkin gang. Pumpkin party. Offbeat, thanks for 500 bits. Thank you for doing this, Daniel. No problem. Yeah, Black Lives Matter, of course. Thank you very much. I 
think we're up here now. Um. Eh. There's something up there. Getting kind of high. The jokes of 10 out of 10 make more puns, please. You guys think we need more of my, my comedy gold on this stream? I'm just so entertaining. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> please, God, no. Oh, there is a chest up here. Don't fall. Chronic bow. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll take it. Okay, we got another one. That, this is pretty good. Okay. Um... So, the next destination on our map is to visit the village over here. Um, but I'm gonna say... We can get some cheeky spirit orbs if we head to that tower. Um, I, uh, there is some more dangerous stuff along this road, but... I think it's gonna be worth it. Because uh, I think our first guardian is, is actually over here. Which is what I'm mainly worried about, but... We should be okay. Oh! So here... Let me see. There are identical trees. But this one... There's less apples on... The other two compared to this one. If I grab that apple... There'll only be one apple left. And that's on that branch there. So I, I need to grab this apple too. There we go. Arkham Knight, thank you for a thousand bits. Thank you very much. Liam, thank you for a hundred. Anything out of the pl place like that. Um, uh, it's very likely to just hide in a Korok. Like, they're, they're pretty much everywhere. There's 900 Koroks on the map to keep an eye out for. I'm gonna get- to, I'm gonna do a big boy play. Hang on. Let's get up this rock. 899 left. Well, no, we've gotten a few of them now. We're not doing that bad. Big boy play incoming. We're gonna do- we're, we're gonna do a mighty jump over to that mountain. Trying to see. Uh, do I, I have some stamina food too. Uh, the bit I don't want to land on is that flat green gra grass on there because there is a horrible monster there, if I remember rightly. Not one down there, is there? Yo, know, let's just make it for the mountain. We're not good. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. <laughs> okay. We want to land over here. Just wanna wanna steer clear right now. Oh god, it's raining. Okay. Uh, so rain in this game is, is is actually like just the worst because what rain does is it makes everything slippy. Um, and the fact that we're climbing a mountain now means it's gonna be ten times harder. Because we're just gonna fall off shit a lot. So what I want to try and do is avoid climbing as much as I can right now. I forgot to buy arrows. That's that's poor planning. Let's make our way up. Oh. 
just I'm just careful where these guardians spawn. Or trying to be mindful of it. It's a Pacoblin party over there. Jesus, there's a fucking lot of them. Pacoblin's getting real strong real quick. I'm just gonna keep climbing the mountain. Places like this scare me because sometimes there's a wizard, but that doesn't appear to be right now. Boy, we're in the clear. We can just... <laughs> Gotta go quick. <laughs> Woo <-hoo! sighs> Cheeky bugger. We're in the clear, lads. Just a spear. It's just a spear. Wouldn't have dealt that much. Okay, and there's another apple puzzle here. Pop this down. There. Get the hammer? Uh, I'm gonna see if I have something I want to trade for the hammer. I, I might not want to take it, honestly. Steal his apples. Uh, actually, yeah, I, I do have the spot. Yep, no, we'll, we'll take the hammer then. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, Link was struggling to get over the house there. I gave us some arrows too. There we go. Okay, we just have to continue our climb of the mountain in the rain. I think the safest way up is probably over here. Oh, and there is some ore. Use the climbing bandana you got. Yeah, I actually should do that. Oh, Jesse, it's good to see you here as well. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you've been having a nice night. Um, oh wow, yeah, because on on the Tildify campaign front, yeah, um, like I, I'm just checking it now. Um, we're just shy of twelve thousand dollars now. Uh, on, on Jesse's campaigns, that, that's fucking incredible. Thank you, everyone there. Uh, again, there will be another big donation come the end of this stream, just from all the gift subs and that that people were given earlier today. Thank you very much, though, lads. Yeah, that 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 is fucking insane. Yeah, I just <laughs> I'm just looking at this. It's like I don't want to do it. <laughs> this looks horrible. Ah. Uh. Gotta go slow. I can't climb. Kevin's raising over 12,000 in his stream too. That is wonderful to see. Oh god, it's getting cold now too. Okay. Was that a shooting star? We might, we might have a chance to get one. Okay, wait, okay, we gotta go quick. Colder climate. Let's get to the top of the mountain, we activate the shrine, because it's on the way anyway. And then we just glide down to wherever it is. It seems to land pretty near. Top of the mountain, top of the mountain. Come on up. Where is it? Okay. So I got, I got, I got to mark that real quick. I'm gonna get this Korok. I need to get a shrine though. Is there a shrine on this side of the mountain? I thought, I thought there was. But I currently don't see it. There's the shrine. 
It's just under you. Risky jump of the day there. <laughs> okay, activate that shrine. And then we make it for the marker. Let's go. Oh, God almighty. I kind of get a sense of the world from here, too, by the way. Because, like, look how high up we are. So much. Everywhere you can see here, you can go, too. Which is, like, one of the coolest bits of this game. Yeah, I'm gonna need to lower a bit. Gonna need to lower a bit. There we go. there. How far away? Don't mind me. Oh, don't mind me. The electrical ones I don't like. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm I'm gonna give you a one on one on weather effects here too. When lightning starts to strike, if you have anything metal on your person. If you are wielding metal objects, the lightning will strike you and kill you instantly. Thankfully, we do have this energy sword, which is not classified as metal. Everything else seems to be okay. Yeah, we're now we're now in a thunderstorm, though. <laughs> and that's why you gotta be careful. Oh. I think- I think the shields are okay. You'll- you'll spark- Fuck! You'll spark if it's going to hit you. Oh my god! <laughs> We're almost there. Star Fragment. We're good. We're good. We can rest easy a moment here. This this seems to be like a, a, a calm spot. There's just two Korok seats. Yeah. We can breed. The lightning storm seems to have passed too. Or at least we've outrun it. I uh, just won't equip that weapon I had before for a while just to be safe. Yeah, we can get some sneaky snails here too. Fucking terrifying though, isn't it? Okay, is there another one? Yeah, there is another one. There it is. Let's get the Korok. I thought that was an Animal Crossing thing. I think Animal Crossing just took it from this one. Honestly, they just like reused the model or something. It looks very similar. Jasmine, thanks for 500 bits. I'm sad I can't donate directly to the college due to school, but I hope these little bits are able to help. I'm so glad you and Plumbella are doing this. Black Lives Matter. Thank you very much, Jasmine. Cleo, thank you for 100 bits as well. Uh, Ketchup, thank you for 100. Thoughts from Tree I Am, thanks for 200. It was a fun combat tactic when you get the electroimmune armor, though. Oh, yeah, it does, then. No, oh, thank you very much, everyone who is donating tonight. It is seriously appreciated. And okay, once the once the, like the um the Twitch analytics basically come in, which will be probably sometime tomorrow afternoon, I'll post a screenshot uh, on Twitter, just of the amount that I was raised through subs and that. Oh, so there's just full transparency there. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Four. They're fucking everywhere. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, but look at that, though. The game is just so pretty. Like, sometimes you just gotta stop and take it in. So cool looking. There's a tower over there we could probably activate. I mean, we're, we're, we're close to it. Um... Oh, no, there's an entire fucking lake in the way. <laughs> we're, uh, we're not as close as I thought we were. There's the rainforest, too. Bad bridge. I'm scared about that bridge. I, there's gonna be something horrible on it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna warp back to the shrine we discovered here. Uh, it glows an orange on the map if you get to complete it, which is actually really handy. Liam, thank you for 200 bits. Thank you very much. That tower is enemies. Then we'll never go to that tower. <laughs> get more hearts for hearty food? I'm hoping... I'm hoping to do that. I just haven't found any radishes. Okay, so the this shrine and the one up there, um, they work as a pair, I believe. And the solution to each shrine is in its opposite. Um, so you got you guys can probably help me with this. Okay, so twin memories. Yeah, this is the shrine. Trying to top these uh, peaks, share a connection. Their memory, the answer to the other's question. Commit to memory before you start, lest a failure you will depart. Yeah, they kind of explain how the balls work here, too. Oh. Um. Where... where is the solution? Ah. Yep. Yeah, so with- I, oh yeah, so it's just with the balls, like, you just gotta memorize this. So, this is the solution for the other shrine, I think. So here, we'll, 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 they give you like a high vantage point for it, just to make it easy. Okay, and what we can do is just take a picture. And that's the solution. Uh, 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 so, and there will be a solution for this shrine too. We just have to go back out now. Best way to be fair. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Hero Blight, thanks for 400 bits. Blitz, thanks for 500 bits. Okay, so now we got to cross the valley. And we just have to punch in the solution. Uh, the problem is I don't really see a clear way up from here. We got some wind, but... I think we're gonna have to climb a fair bit here. I think we can make it from over here. Oh, that's a nice deposit. Some more resources. There's a gold one here too. These ones have chance to just give you like straight up diamond and sapphires. Yeah, and these are worth a bunch. Topaz as well. Jesus Christ, that's really good. You can probably buy the stealth suit now. Rock salt's always appreciated. It. Money, <laughs> yeah, basically. Is there an easy way for me to climb from here too? Just trying to see. Up we go. I mean, I might be able to make it. If I glide over. Yeah? <laughs> you think I'll be able to make it up? No, cause I'm gonna I'm no, cause I'm gonna have to use stamina flying over, aren't I? Hip. 
Oh, yeah, uh, we, we were never gonna make that. I think I can make this. Come on. There's, uh, there's a blip there I think I can hold on to. Let's just, uh... See what we've got. <laughs> We're in the clear, just like that, unassisted. Guys had no fate in me. Completely unscathed. <laughs> oh, please tell me I'm gonna make it on this fish. I'm not gonna have to eat another one, am I? I think, I think we're in the clear. Yes, we are. There we go. We're up. Have to keep climbing to the summit. Anonymous cheerer, thank you for the 3,000 bits. Thank you very much. We're at one of the highest points of the game right now. And we're gonna be able to get two spirit orbs from it. I think there's just something up here too. It's another fucking apple puzzle. <laughs> Orocs really like their apples. He's just chilling up here. Be a shame if you fell. I mean, I'm gonna jump off come the end of this. You know, we, we, we gotta get down somehow. Only 3k left till the 15k goal. That is insane. Thank you very much again, everyone. During this is like the first day of the fundraiser, too. Um, it is insane to see so many people supporting it. Um, Jesse is going to be, uh, kind of continuing it, like, throughout the month, just as an FYI. That is a big thing to note. Um, so obviously if the goal is hit, uh, I imagine it's going to be raised again or something. Because this is literally day one, and it's like $12,000. And, you know, there'll be, there'll be a sizable, like, donation coming later, too. Just from the gift subs, too. And, like, the bits and that. Okay, I'm just coming up here real quick, just to... There we go! Okay, so the solution... There was one there. One over here. There was one here. Okay, um, this one was in the top. And this one was the second row here. Don't even need the photo. But I will need it for the, for the next shrine because I only remember that first one. <laughs> I forget what the original combination was there completely. <laughs> there we go. Sloan, thank you for 100 bits. Thank you very much. Neil, thank you for the 50 bits. Big brain cells. <laughs> Too good at games. Shrine chest? There's not always a shrine chest. I don't think there is in that one. There is in there? Was there? I didn't see it. There should be. No, I, I think these ones are like a weird, unique case. There's always a shrine chest. People are insistent on it. 
Behind on the ladder, I think. Okay. Um... Oh no, do I have to do the combination again? <laughs> Well, I'm gonna see if I can memorize this one uh, just real quick too. Okay. All right, let's just do it again real quick. on the lift, is it? Oh, it is. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm dying. Yeah, I, th I think there it is on the side. You can see a little ledge. We're a speedrunner. <laughs> Let's do that again. That's better be worse. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, that, that was worth coming back for. Thirty-two damage, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um. I think we can afford the sack of hammer. That's that's insane. Our equipment's gotten like so much better in in such a short span of time. Like now we're using like this long sword as like our default weapon. And it's one of our weaker items. <laughs> Charlie, thanks for a thousand bits. I hope this can help even with just a little. Thank you, RT, for your streams. Thank you very much. Cole, thank you for 500 bits as well. I would have donated, but I'd be under the age of 18, and PayPal doesn't like that. Thanks for streaming, though. Also, can you climb a tree with mint, if that's possible? I don't think you can, but thank you. Niles, thank you for 500 bits as well. Which divine beast are you doing going for first? I don't know just yet. I haven't decided. Thankfully... But getting back across, it's way easier. There we go. The elephant one is worse. But the elephant one's not going to give us a power that can help is the thing. Because we have to turn off Mephis Grace. Although the elephant one is fairly easy if I remember rightly. Okay, I, I don't think I remember the combination this time, so this is going to be far less impressive. As I just quickly... <laughs> double check. Do the bird first. The bird one seems kind of hard. This one goes here. Bird one has the most useful power up though. I mean, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to do them all. The one I know is we're doing the desert last because the desert is insanely challenging. Um, I remember st really struggling with the boss in that one. And reversing the desert itself, it's full of like awful monsters called like Moldovas or something. The, uh, the, like Moldoga. Is Moldova Moldoga? But uh, it's like a giant sandworm that chases you, and it's awful to deal with. Oh, I forgot the chest again, didn't I? Okay, where is it? It's, it's on the same side. Alright. Do this right. <laughs> Jeez. 
should just call Moldova a monster. Yeah, I think I mispronounced it. <laughs> no, just Moldova itself is just in the desert and <laughs> just chases you all about. You gotta be real careful, it sneaks up on you. <laughs> Uh, we do want, we do want another spear, um... I do like keeping a leaf if I can. I'm gonna toss... The soldier's claymore, I think. I, I like keeping a sword and shield. That is a strong old weapon, but I prefer having like, just a sword and shield combo. Spears are really good because you can strike very fast with them. So many ways you want to keep up, eh? You don't need a leaf. Now, the leaf has, like, very situational purposes, though. Sometimes you'll find a raft, and it's like you just don't have a leaf to power it. I, I, I like keeping at least one leaf about. One torch if I can get away with it, too. Okay. There we go. Another one there. Dacian and Zamet Zend. <laughs> oh no. Sniper Kitten, thank you for 1500 bits there as well. Second donation ever, you're the best RT. Thank you very much. Okay. I'd recommend the Zoro, the Rito, Goron, and then Gerudo. Gerudo? Gerudo? Oh no. Niles, thanks for another 500. Started my own no debt run yesterday because of you. Played for 12 hours straight, got the Master Sword and Thunderblight left before Ganon. Oh, Jesus. Fair play to you for doing it in 12 hours. Like, my god, man. Okay. Alright, that, that, that's pretty good. Um, I think. Let's journey on to Hatano if we can. Uh, I can, I can just travel down to the stadium here. If you ever want to journey anywhere near that mountain now, you just travel to the shrine at the top and jump. Which is really good. Mintaria for the journey? Yeah, we're gonna be getting our horse. Well, that's why I'm going to the stable. I know he's gonna be here. And we can actually- oh, we can actually sell some of our, um, stones. Maybe we can get another piece of stealth armor. Look what I've got. You want all my gems. Gonna be very excited to see us as ever. Wow! Wow! Sapphire? 260 rupees just for one. Well, that's really good. Topaz? 180 apiece. We got a thousand rupees now. If I can find a little bit more to sell, um, I can, I can afford everything. How much were the other two items? One of them was 700, wasn't it? I'm like 300 sure. I don't, hmm. I, I mean, I could sell it. Um, but we should probably keep that one. <laughs> you need 1,100, do I? It, oh, it's only 1,200 or so. We, we can get up to that. I'll just sell... Like, if I sell 29 of these... Yeah. That, that should be enough. Yeah? You need 1300, okay. Then we just sell some key swings. Wow! There we go. Okay, let's go get the stealth armor then. Seven hundred one, six hundred for the other. Nice. Yeah, so we have enough. We can we can buy all the armor. We'll be sneaky. Uh, less stuff is gonna fight, notice us and just murder us out right now. Uh, 
Okay. Make our way back down to the shop. It's like, I would like to buy your wares. It's like you crash into the door. Stealth tights. Stealth chest guard. Okay, and because I'm lazy, I'm gonna fast travel up here so I can get back to the fairy fountain faster. Don't forget arrows this time. I have no money left. <laughs> we'll find some arrows. It'll be fine. Why does the shopkeeper sound like that? He's very scared. Okay, let's uh, pop all of this on. Wait. <laughs> there we go. So we're stealthy now, so if you look at the noise meter, at the bottom, it moves a lot less, even like with default walking. Now you run, it's gonna go like, you know, all over the place. Oh, he? Oh, sorry, she. I was just terrified. I just say he by default sometimes. My bad. Okay. Hands away. There we go. King and fake, thank you for the 100 bits each. Remember not to die. I'll try not to. Okay. Set bonus. I don't think we'll get a set bonus here because it's only level mm. one. But that's okay. Okay, she can't improve anything more. Well, that's pretty good. So wait, do we get the set bonus? It's just saying that like our sneak is max three stage. Yeah, we don't get the set bonus there. That's okay. Yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good. We got the sneaky armor. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Uh, next goal is Hatano Village. We 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 should keep moving. So, back down to here. And we'll travel over. Minako, thank you for 300 bits. For hours at the entrance of the village, top of the arches. You stream in Master makes me want to try it as well. Thank you for that top tip that I've just ignored. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but thank you, though. I appreciate the advice. Ah, oh, dear. Calm down with the spam and chat again, lads. I, I really do mean it. I, I, I don't want people spamming. We keep it calm here. If people just scream all caps on that, then I just pop in the sub button. Okay. Oh, they couldn't hear your call. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well let's just get them from here then. Bond is already maxed. Jesus Christ, we became fast friends. Cat, thank you for a hundred oh. bits. Hi. There we go. Okay. Uh, that tower, I believe, is our next goal, because that will give us the map for the next zone. So our journey is continuing. What I can't remember is if there's guardians in this zone, because it is a big open field. There are definitely a lot of remnants of guardians. <laughs> I, uh, I just hope there's none that are active. There's certainly the goblins. Good. Be okay. No guardians. No, we're, we're in the clear. Just mosey on over to the gate.
There is one who's still active? I don't see him. We seem, we seem to be in the clear. He's not here. Okay. Let's just make the slow ride over. You can kind of just take in the view. Gonna be a lot of stuff here that just wants to kill us. I'm just trying to keep an eye out for shrines, I think, more than anything. Gee, I think there is a shrine over here. Let me just go back real quick. I think there's one off to the right. Ah, you're fine, man. Whoop! Okay, Mint, you just sit tight a moment. Oh, maybe I'm, I'm thinking of somewhere different for that shrine. Oh, over here. I thought there was like a, a graveyard or something tucked away under one of these things. There is some chests, so yeah, that's still pretty good. Blazing shield. I don't know if that's better than my current shields. And more money. Yeah, it's not any better. We don't want that. Okay, let's get this fella. It's up further, is it? Okay. Yeah, you you know the one I was talking about there, too. Oh, there's a house over there, too. I didn't even spot that. Let's go see if anyone's in. Hello, old sir. Ancient text. There's a worn-looking book here. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. Oh, that's very creepy. Oh, he's trying to work it out. So there's a there is a shrine then, and it's a puzzle. I don't like this guy. He's a doctor. I'll leave him to it. We can work it out. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze, purge the seal from the shrine. Dark light. Okay. Let's go get our horse and we'll make a move. Which is like the remnants of like an old battlefield here. <laughs> Which is kind of worrying. Okay. Come on, come on, Ario. So it's further up the road. I think it's up on the left. <sighs> well, there's literally Fallout, but for kids. Ah, I mean. I think Zelda's a bit more cheerful, honestly. This would be more fun. I wouldn't say it's strictly for kids. I think Zelda's a bit harder, honestly. In some respects. Oh, wait, there, there, there's the statue. I can see it. I can s I can see it. <laughs> These guys do not want me to get- is he picking up his mate's head? Yes, he is. I thought he was gonna chuck him at me. Why do these guys have rice of all people? Okay, there's some hardy radishes here, which is really good. Let's activate this. Oh, you got it from the grass, did I? Oh, okay, I didn't realize- I mean, I guess that makes sense, yeah. I thought the skeletons were just holding it for some reason. Just got my Uncle Ben spoiling a bag. You never know when I'm, you might need a tasty snack. I might be dead, but... 
wouldn't be caught dead without my Uncle Ben's. Hey, Fox. Just making sure I get all the loot that's here. Queen Rowlett, thank you for the 1500 bits. I wish I could contribute more to the cause, but this is all I can manage at this time. You're an amazing person for standing up standing up with us all for Black Lives Matter movement. I never stop being great, RT. Thank you very much, Queen Rowlett. Don't worry about it whatsoever. Very kind to give anything. Yep. Go back in here. How many deaths so far? Just one. And that's all there's gonna be. Trial of Passage. Oh god. I think for this one, yeah, you can... Stasis quite a bit. That teeny ball I'm worried about. Don't you fucking there! Get away! Pop that down there. Um, I can't remember where any of the treasure is here. I think I'm just supposed to just make it through the clock. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> There, there, there's a chest up there. That's now upside down and on the ceiling. So I want to wait for that to come back around so I can grab it. A bit over there is stationary, I think. Uh, we can just make our way on up. Go. Okay, and now I just gotta time this so that I can jump back down and grab the chest. There's being in the way are not my friend right now. Oh, there's another chest here. I shouldn't be getting this one first. I can do it. Soldier spear. That's not even that good. Okay, get back the turn. Wonder if I can make my way around. <laughs> Risky jump. Okay, we just we just wait for it to come back around. Goodbye, chest. Go. Wait for this to rise as on up. And now we just wait for the stairs to come back around. Ah, oh dear. Probably the Monopoly vid I left after watching a bit and it was gone? There is no Monopoly vid. It hasn't been made yet. I don't know what you're watching, my man. There we go. Shrine down. This is a cool shrine. Yeah, I, I, I like some of these timing puzzle ones. See you in the future. <laughs> Three spirit orbs. There is one guaranteed at the next town, too. Let's keep going. Rio, thanks for 100 bits.
I watched my sister get shot by police two days ago now. She was helping medical staff when they shot her. Really glad you're doing this. Thank you. So sorry to hear that, man. I hope... Uh, uh, that's fucking awful. Thank you very much for the donation. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, thank you as ever to everyone who is donating tonight. Like, yeah. It's, uh, it's scary times we live in. And, you know, every donation counts. I'm not gonna talk to you. There, there, <laughs> there, there are people, um, dot around the world that are part of a thing called the Yiga clan. And they basically just try to kill you. And... I don't know who to trust. Oh, I don't know if I want to talk to that person. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, I was gonna go the other way, but we're going forward now. We're just... Going forward. Find a way through. Ah, uh, Ty, thank you for the five gift subs as well. Very much appreciate it. Thank you very much. Whew. We're almost there. We just have to make it to the flag. There's a lot of Bacoplins. Along the road. We're doing okay. We're almost there. They... Those are two injured people in the woods. I... I should probably help them. <laughs> Come on. Okay, where, where, where's the other one? Get a new sword. I'll just take a club just so we have an extra weapon. Okay, how's it going, man? You well? That was close. We saved them. Never fight fair, they always lurk and wait to ambush us. What a bunch of cowards. Seems like every time I go out hunting for hardy truffles, I'm make, make taking my life in my hands. Oh no. They just wanted truffles. Shouldn't you be helping them? <laughs> I just happened to be passing by, like... At no village. That <laughs> guy's just looking at us with the spear as we just roll on into town. No respect. Like, I'm coming in. Uh, Mama, thank you for the 5,000 bits. Black Lives Matter. Police are out of control in my city over the weekend. Thank you for doing this. No problem at all. Thank you very much. Yep, there's a shrine right up there. I, I want to go do the shrine first, I think. Because I want us to be able to level up our HP more. There's a fun side quest you can do here, I think. Well, they're supposed to be. You can get a house in this game. Uh, the lads don't seem to be here. Oh, here we are. Yeah. What are you doing? The old house has been abandoned. Everyone in Hatno Village agree we should demolish it. The old owner apparently went off to the castle to report for service. Never came back, never wrote, so away it goes. I'd buy this place. 
Okay, so you need to talk to the boss. Where? I think this is the boss? Oh no, this guy is the boss. Bolson. Okay, so I can buy the house. Get a load of young money bags just wants to buy it, huh? Let me lay out for you. See, this house has been vacant for years. The villagers had a meeting, argued, voted, and decided to tear it down. Dem demolition costs with associated fees, permits, and other such details comes in at 50,000 rupees. Mm. <laughs> when you want to say buy it, you're talking about 50,000 rupees. You got that much on you. I'll pay. Oh. Mm. Well, who would have thought? I tried. <laughs> Alright, look. Here's a deal just for you. I'll cut a special price of 3,000 rupees. But in return, I'm going to need you to bring me 30 wood bundles. Building materials, you know how it is. This is the precursor for Animal Crossing, and this man is Tom Nook in another life. Stop tearing down the house. So if you save up 3,000 rupees, you can actually buy a home. Which is it's actually kind of nice. You, you can store some weapons in it, basically. Um, and they won't just disappear. So it lets you it lets you carry more valuable weapons if you want to save them for later if you run low on inventory slots. King, thank you for 100 bits. Thank you very much. T1, thanks for 100. Asian, thank you for 100 bits. Oh, the double jump, jump forward, shield surf, infinite run. Thank you for the trips. The super climb. When stamina wheel is running out in red, a uh, leap to go really far. Oh yeah, I know that one. Jump when crouching to move really fast and silent. Oh yeah, you can do that. Well, that's a good way of catching up with the horses then. Thank you. Adam, thank you for a thousand bits as well. Thank you very much. Supposing in concept that the house is actually Link's house with him showing his family. Oh my god. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Mio Magana apparatus. Oh no, I remember hating this one. This shrine sucks. Because it uses motion controls. And as everyone knows, motion controls are just terrible. <laughs> Much as I do love my Wii Sports. Ugh. So, you think it's all been relatively easy going. Here's the bad bit, right? <laughs> you don't, it, it doesn't connect. Flip it? I d flipping it. Okay, alright. <laughs> A controller is not in a natural position right now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Did I get it? <laughs> Oh, thank God it's in. Okay. <laughs> well, that was an angle. Okay, and th there is a chest, so... It's gotta... Straighten it out a bit. Problem even with that angle is, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it back okay. Which your pocket will try it. Go. <laughs> okay, we're good. Imagine like I have the motion controls here, just like <laughs> Link falls down to his death. That's that's okay. 
I actually do have better bows. I, I don't want that. Now we gotta get back. Just barely. <laughs> It's basically a scope, yeah, so you don't want too many of those. You don't always want to zoom in too much. When an enemy's in your face, you don't want to, like, you know, go aim down the scope to stare at them. It's too much. Okay, another spirit orb. We did it. I think for day two, we're, do we're doing pretty good, honestly. <laughs> um, like, we, we haven't really had any super threatening moments. Ever since we got some good equipment, we we've been mostly in the clear. Uh, you, you know, it it's, it's all starting to look up. We might be able to actually do this. Oh, hello. East Wind General Store is open, and it's just as lively inside as it is out here. Let's see what's in the shop. Yeah, so you can you can buy some milk and stuff for recipes. Bird eggs, Hylian rice. Ooh, we can buy some. I have no money. Okay, what 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 can I sell to you? What what, what have I got? I have any number? I have two opals. Uh -huh. It's something. Why do people want me to buy the milk? We, we don't... We don't need the milk. Oh. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna take all of these. Hey. All right, okay, we'll get... I'll get a bottle of milk. And I'll throw it in with a bird egg. <laughs> Let's see what we can cook with that. It does even give you some recipes sometimes, which is quite sweet. These pictures here, it's like if you combine a mushroom, a salt, and some rice, you can make like rice balls. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll get a mushroom too, just so we can, we can make that. Is there a cooking pot? I don't, I don't know if there is. Uh, wait, no, there, there was one by the house over there, wasn't there? The bit of ways. But that's okay. Okay, so, yeah, so the recipe there was a mushroom, some rice, and some salt. This is a more special recipe, so it's gonna give us something a bit different. The Enduring Mushroom Rice Balls. Overfills your stamina wheel and restores four hearts. Okay, so that's a special one. Uh, I think if I combine the milk and the egg. I think that does something. Let's pop the glass bottle in, you know, don't crack the egg either. We made an omelette. There we go. We can cook, we can cook a little bit more. Some salted meat. You put milk in an omelette? You normally pop a little bit of milk in an omelette, yeah. Yes, you're supposed to. You don't have to. But it gives it like a better texture. Makes it fluffier. Cook the fairies. I don't have any fairies. I didn't take any. I think I'm just like avoiding fairies in general. <laughs> like I'm not supposed to have them, so I'm steering clear. 
better without milk? I like it with a bit of milk myself. I prefer the texture. It's pretty good. Don't diss until you tried it. Okay, uh, I think... That is everything. Let me... Hear a quest. You're a traveler, and listen up. See these trees up on top of that snowy mountain there? I found a small letter stuck between the pages of this old book at my house. It said when the three summer trees become one, turn your back to them and head towards the sea. Trial in case in stone awaits you there. I don't know what it means. Okay, so that's, that, so that's the secret shrine. Yep. So that's like a cryptic tip for how to get it. And look, we can get some dinner. Having duck tonight. I think there is one more thing. And there is a clothes shop. Oh, there's the dye shop too, so you can actually recolor your items. Yeah, but you need dye ingredients and 20 rupees, and you can just kind of paint them. It, it's kind of nice, like, we might do that a little later. Uh, here's the armor shop. Yeah, so this has... This sells, like, the warm... Like, like the jumper, in case you didn't get it before. But it also sells the soldier set. And the soldier set actually gives a fair bit more armor compared to everything else. Like, it's the same at the moment, but it's unupgraded. See? Uh, it is also made of metal, though, is is the one thing you have to consider with it. Um, so, uh, uh, like, for lightning storms and that, you cannot wear this. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good one. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get that a little later when we can. Doesn't attract lightning? I'm pretty sure it does. I thought it did. Okay, I guess not. It's it's a little slower though or something. It has some kind of downside, but it gives you more defense. So it's pretty good. Don't use it against lightning arrows either. <laughs> not much survives lightning arrows, in fairness. Doesn't have a set bonus, so it's trash in my opinion. Yeah, the set bonuses make armor sets just so much better. It's really loud and slow. Yeah, it, it, it's noisy. Okay, uh, the lab, I believe, is up here. Just gotta make our way up. Oh, I think he gives you a lanty side quest too, where you need to like light a bunch of beacons, if I remember rightly. Kind of a shame, but I think my least favorite part of like Breath of the Wild is honestly just when the story in that kicks in sometimes. <laughs> I like just exploring the world and just uh, like seeing what's up. I think the story is like second to this game, and this is just like a fun sandbox more than anything. I think this guy has like a big old quested sequence for you. Where was Gondor when Westfield fell? Oh god. Okay. Atanote's ancient tech lab. Oh, I forgot about this kid. That's right. No, she's the director. It's... Yeah. This gets a bit Japan in a moment. <laughs> that thing on your waist, that's Sheikah. This is a Sheikah slate. Just show me the ruins on it. This is Magnesis, the remote bomb, and Cryonis. You're missing basic ruins. My name is Samin. A link, right? Okay. 
Director, listen, Miss Director, this is a real Sheikah slate. I haven't introduced a director. Pura happens to be the right over there. Ha have no ancient tech lab director, Miss Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. Once again, this gets very Japan. <laughs> oh dear. How's it going? Snappity snap! Have any dreams from your time in the Shrine of Resurrection? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last 100 years, but something must have happened in all that time. Link, what's with that look? You still remember me, right? I don't remember. Really? Well, I'm so shocked. I don't know if I'll be ever, ever be able to recover from this. Even though a hundred years ago, I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon facially wounded you. Even though I was the one who put you safely into the Slumber of Restoration. Oh, remember guys, she's not 12 years old, she's actually like... a century old. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Aren't you a child? How oh, very rude. Who it is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. In some ways of success, I document the full affair in my diary upstairs. Okay. Yeah, Pura is here to help. You need to recover basic functions. Yeah, there's like a big old tech thing there you can see. The tablet. Okay, uh, yeah, and she has a quest where she wants you to light flames. So you can restore some Sheikah Slate functionality. Again, you really don't have to do any of this. Um, uh, uh, you could just be going somewhere else in the game right now. All, pretty much everything is optional, which is kind of weird for this game. But it is, it is stuff to do. I think, on that note, I, I think I might wrap up, uh, fairly soon. I think it might be a good point to, I'm trying to see if there's anything within reach we could do to just kind of end it on a high. Day two has been fairly uneventful, honestly. It's been very calm. You know, the, like, we just got stronger. We have actual armor now. We have good weapons. We have a bit of health. I guess... I could try to do the dragon, but... I have a few arrows. Okay, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something cool All right, we're gonna we're gonna do this guy eventually anyway at some point Oh, I, I need my woolly jumper Getting a bit a bit chilly. Uh, I'm gonna say that we don't want stealth. We want more Armor here. We want all the defenses we can get. Oh, it's become too cold, even with the jumper. <laughs> I mean, that'll give me three minutes, but I think I might need more time than that. Um, let's just see. Oh, and it's raining too. The, the game does not want me exploring that mountain right now. Game's just decided, no. Not doing that one, uh, for a very long time. Uh, that island there is a very hard challenge in the game. Because when you enter it, um, you lose all your equipment. And it's incredibly tough. Okay, uh, go back to the village for a moment. And we'll just see if we can cook some. Let's just hop back here real quick. We'll cook some... I don't have any- no, I don't have any- I don't have any peppers or anything. Do a major test of strength. Although, it's a major test of strength, yeah. The island- the island is incredibly difficult. 
It's one of the coolest challenges in the game, though. Like, I hope we'll be able to do it at some point, but it's very dangerous. Uh, uh, it, it is exceedingly dangerous. Um... I don't know what we could do to kind of end today's, like, session on. It, it has been relatively calm, but, you know, like, like important, I'd say. Because we were just gathering supplies. Fight a lion. No, I'm not doing something that's just gonna get me killed. <laughs> I'm trying to see what we've got. There's some stuff down here. Have an old look. There's a tower boy here. Hope I make this. There's a lot of birds. Cutting it a bit close. Oh. Let's meet this lovely fellow. Why, hello! Certainly didn't expect to see anyone up else up here. That there on your hip. No, I'm sorry, it's nothing. I didn't mean the pry. Are you a bird? You never met a Reno before, odd. My name is Cass. As a bard, I spend my days traveling this land in search of ancient songs. Have you heard of the ancient songs of Hyrule? No. <laughs> songs that sing back the praises of a hero beat back the calamity in an age past. This ollie shaped rock pillar was standing on as the subject of a song. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please. Ancient hero spoke these words, one day I'll return to fight evil. My cash is at 17 of 24. This rock will point towards its re its retrieval. Mm. A hidden stash of money. It was left by the ancient hero that defeated the calamity 10,000 years ago. It must be a very big amount. Good luck figuring out. May the light illuminate your path. So, 17 of 24. This rock, I believe, is shaped like a clock. Or oh, kind of like acts as a sundial? At least it's supposed to. But I think it's all shadow at the moment. And we're looking for a rock that points the way. Don't know if we can do it because there's no shadow. Sundial is not going to work if it's uh, overcast. I- I can- I can make a fire. There we go. Uh, sit by the fire till noon. Your five o'clock position in the rock circle. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so you, you, you can see it moving now. So, that's midday. We just gotta see where the shadow is come five. It's moving slowly. We get some nice music in the meanwhile. Let's just sit tight. <laughs> this is what solving a puzzle looks like. I think it'll only take five minutes, that's not too bad. Amber, thank you for another 100 bits. I hope work was okay. Bad Blood, thank you for 100 bits. For Black Lives Matter, thank you very much. Please use Magnesis, oh my god. Like, people are- no, it, the rock points the way, you gotta wait, see? You don't know which rock it's on. You just gotta wait. Be patient, you know? We're solving the puzzle.
it's under the water, yeah, I know. But we're gonna see where it is. We're gonna let the rock point. I have to guess it's over on those rocks there, but I just wanna make sure. Let's just chill a moment. Watsuba, thank you for a hundred bits. He is fired to change the time. Yeah, it's but it's either like noon, evening, or morning. And evening, I well, night, I believe, is seven o'clock. So, um, yeah, it does not help. Just sit tight. <sighs> Can you end the read? No, he's having a nice old time. Why would I harm him? He just wants to play his accordion. He's a chill dude. Not everything has to be violent. Chill, lad, you know, chill, chill. Uh, it's freaking Cass, this is endgame content. <laughs> yeah, Cass has some stuff to do with the DLC, doesn't he? I remember, like, seeing the trailer and he was featured in it. Shadow is moving. Okay, I'm fairly sure it's over here. <laughs> there we go, I think that's it. Kind of tell where it's moving towards. There we go. Good chest. What we got? 300 rupees. I'll take it. Goodbye, chest. <laughs> it just slides back into the ocean. Okay, thank you, Cass. We'll leave you on stranded on this rock, sure. Hope you know what you're doing, man. I think I'm stranded, too. Um... I don't think I can swim back to the shore. <laughs> Let's let's just travel real quick. <laughs> oh, I could have used the ice to get back. You're right. I keep forgetting that. Cross an ocean just with stepping stones on the ice. That would take so long. Ah, God. Yeah, thank you everyone for coming by the stream show today. Um, I hope folks enjoyed it. Um, thank you to everyone for donating to charity, of course. Black Lives Matters. Um, Color of Change for supporting it. Uh, I think the final tally for after the stream today, like, Jesus, over $13,000. Considering it's, like, day one that Jesse set it up, that's fucking unbelievable. And I reckon with a lot of, like, uh, like the subs and that that came in, that's probably gonna hit 15k, honestly. Uh, I just have to wait for the analytics to essentially come in. Um, like tomorrow afternoon, because it takes a while for Twitch to just process that, but I'll, I'll post an update on Twitter once that does go ahead, um, just so you guys can see it. Yeah, please do stay safe if you're in the States, um, and, you know, just keep an eye on the news and just do whatever you can. You know, there's going to be a lot of charity campaigns like this uh, the next while, just do what you can to support them. Oh, so even raising awareness, uh, if it's all you can do, just do it, you know. Talk to relatives and that, if you have senators and that in your state, and you're in the states yourself, you know, talk to them. Um, it's, it's like, this stuff is fucking important, honestly. And thank you everyone for coming out tonight and, you know, just, you know, supporting the cause. Uh, very much appreciate it. Uh, again, with all the subs and that, I will, I will have a look at that, and, well, I, with all, like, the Twitch bits and that, um, I will post an update on that tomorrow afternoon. Because it just takes a, moment, a while for that to process. It takes about a day. I'm gonna see whose care I can leave you in. Because there should still be people, uh, streaming. Um... Yeah, Kevin is still going. And uh, Kevin is doing his stream for charity tonight as well. So, uh, he's for, with Color of Change as well. So, go say hey to Kevin. Because he's a good lad. Yeah, thank you again for coming, folks. Hope you all enjoyed the stream. Thank you for donating to charity. Uh, stay safe, lads. Talk to you all soon. I'll be back tomorrow night.